let's have a look at how we go about getting a template together. So just say, for example, those are my template tracks. What I would do is I would delete all of that out of the session. I'd get rid of all of the hidden tracks as well. And what I would then do is go and save as a template. And then you specify the location. And the location, in this case, it's already pointing to there. Uh, but the location is the documents folder, users, Daniel, documents, Pro Tools, track presets. So that's where that's pointing to if you go up one step. This folder doesn't exist. You can download a program called Trasher. And on the second page of that, I'm using Pro Tools 12. So it's got something here which creates the track preset folder. So just say, for example, this didn't exist. What it would do would create the track preset folder there. I mean, you can do this yourself, but um, you'll see when I click this, it's now created all of these categories from which we can choose a group of tracks to come up when we select them. So I'm just going to delete those. There we go. My mix bus is a .ptxt file, which is a template, as you can see there. And that's just simply from saving it into the track preset folder under that folder so I can find it there. If I press Control shift n or Command-Shift-N on a Mac, that brings up our tracks. And you'll see that they appear here, separated from the usual standard uh, Pro Tools fare. So if I go to Mix Bus, there it is. Now looking at the, the drums, I've actually created drum processing. All right, so I'm going to press that again, Control shift n There we are. And then I'm going to hit Enter to create that. And there you go. So these tracks here, these are my current tracks. I'm just going to change the color of those to differentiate them. Drums I like to keep blue, just always have. And these are all of my template tracks. So it's quite large. What we're going to do is Let's blend that back in. 